Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, seven of my Borussia Dortmund career mode, and first off, I just want to apologise for the long delays between videos. Uh, I work at six o'clock in the morning, five days a week, so I'm shattered most of the time. So there will be sometimes some delays, but I will try and get things sped up a little bit from here. Also, I will be streaming at some point on Thursday, probably be about seven o'clock uh, UK time. Um, because I will be getting PlayStation 5. I believe I will probably be streaming uh, Miles Morales. So come join and I will show off some of the uh, PlayStation 5. In the meantime, uh, we do have some Borussia Dortmund to play. So in this episode, this is going to be a massive episode. We start off with the last game of the Champions League, which we've already qualified for, um, unless there's a glitch, which... There shouldn't be a glitch, but we've we, we've qualified. Then we go away to Bayern Munich. So we're at home to Club Bruges, away to Bayern Munich, which is a massive game. We're 17 points behind, I think. So, yeah, should be trying to win that one. Then we're at home to Hertha Berlin and then away to Red Bull Leipzig. So the last game of the Champions League, it's at home. Uh, for some reason it says BVB... Dortmund style? I don't know why. Uh, so the last game uh, of the Champions League group stage campaign before we will hopefully find out who we get in the next round before the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a win. I have rotated the side though, again. Oh yeah, I've also turned off the, uh, the copyrighted music. So there's no Champions League theme. Which is weird. Right, here we go. So... This is the team we've put out. We are going with our standard 4-2-3-1. We have made massive numbers of changes. So, Berkey in goal, Munier, Kanji, Zagadou, Guerrero, Delaney, Dahoud, Hazard, Bellingham, Reina, and Giroud is up top. Remember, I have put it back up to ultimate, so it will probably I will probably end up losing this one, but with Bayern Munich three days later, uh, I couldn't not rotate my side a little bit, even though I have got a couple of players who are first team regulars in there. Also, Kimpembe is out injured at the moment, so we have had to play at least one of our centre-backs that will be playing against uh, Bayern Munich as well. Club Bruges team, they've got Minilay in goal, I see Shrivers, uh, they've got Schroberschlei on the bench, they've got Onel, Onel Hernandez, I did love that in the first match, Onel Hernandez uh, from Norwich. Uh, it looks like they've changed their back line. They've got Belanta. We, we could do alright in this one. Right, Shrivers. Good block there. I don't think it was Zagadou who got the initial block in. Shrivers. Wide. Roman Berkey. Looks like he will actually probably have quite a bit to do in this one. Right, Thomas Munier. Great ball out wide to... Got down the line to the Torben Hazard. Through. It's too easy for the defender. Oh no. Yeah, so oh, he's beat his man, and it's another shot wide for Bruges. Delaney finds Munier. He finds Bellingham. Possible chance here. Drew to Delaney. The Hood now. Can he get the cross in? He can. Munier punches. Hazard can clear it and just give the ball straight back to them. And Warmer now up against Hazard, plays it back to Sobol, back to Warmer. Akanji with the header away. And we should be going in at half time nil nil, unless they can put in a good delivery here. They do, but it's headed onto the bar. And it's half time. Nil nil. We have uh, we we've been dominated in that first half. Um, we have had like zero of the play really. Most of the our passing has been off target. I say most of our passing. We've got eighty four percent passing accuracy. It was expected with this team. To be fair, we're just hoping that Delaney can probably produce something, get one of our players through. Right, Delaney just gives the ball away. Right, Kanji with a good tackle there. Delaney finds Giroud. He will find Gio Reyna. We're going to get the cross in. Again, it's cleared away. And 
and that's going to be a throw in to Bruges, however, somehow. Uh, however, we are going to make some changes now. So we're going to bring on Parslak, we're going to bring on Chan, uh, and we're going to try and get the cross in for Giroud. And we're not, it doesn't look like we're going to create any chances for Giroud. So on comes Erling Haaland. Here we go. Emre Chan to Erling Haaland. Yeah, we're not going to be able to create anything, I don't think. Although, we've got the ball here. Erling Haaland can find Jude Bellingham. And before he can shoot, the ball gets taken off of him. We, we're looking like we might be able to create something. Here we go. Bellingham finds Thomas Delaney. Shot. Finally get a shot, but it's blocked by Belanta. So to play it backwards. Bournemouth's got the back now. Dennis. And it's... Oh no. It's Dominic Schoberschlei. And he's chipped the keeper. And it's 1-0 to Club Bruges. I mean, it's not that bad. We've already qualified, but... I really wanted to at least get a draw in this one. But uh, it looks, seems like Club Bruges are going to be doing the double over us. And we have Roman Berkey in goal as well, so we can't even blame it on Marwin Hits. Reno Hernandez goes long. Good save by Roman Berkey there. Right, the after. Tackled by Guerrero there. Full time. I didn't even realise that we were actually in out of time. Um, so we get through uh, by the skin of our teeth. Um, we would have been more comfortable. But uh, Club Bruges have done double over us. And then we also lost to Sevilla as well. Only one shot for us that match. That was pretty poor. Um, but Lazio beat Sevilla. We've done enough to get through anyway. Uh, we just have to... Let's see how much money we got. 24 million euros. Does that get added onto our transfer budget? No, it does not. Okay, so let's find out who we have in the next round of the Champions League. We have Real Madrid. Um, and Real Madrid match is followed by Hoffenheim, the first leg, and the second leg is followed by Armenia Bielefeld. So two, two games there where I can really play my first team. So that is fine with me. So it's the first of two Bayern Munich games in two episodes. We will be playing them, in fact, next episode we will be playing them twice. Uh, big one, it's away from home, if we can get the win then I think that will put us uh, I think 14 points behind them, something along them lines. Um, so it, it, it could be a big win, or hopefully it would be a big win. Uh, however we still, we have to contend with Robert Lewandowski, who's projected to get 33 goals this season. So. Hopefully we can deal with him uh, and we have changed our formation in order to do so. Not just in order to deal with him but to deal with the whole team. So their team is Manuel Neuer in goal, Robertson, Schuller, Hernandez and Toliso, Goretzka, Kimmich, uh, Sane, Aranguis and Gnabry and then Robert Lewandowski. Uh, on, on the bench they got Newball. Uh, I have history with Alexander Newbel. Uh, if you haven't watched my Norwich City career mode from last season, uh, from last FIFA, go and do so. Uh, in the second season, I had Alexander Newbel in goal. Meanwhile, uh, we got Berkey in goal, Kanji Hummels, Pishek. Uh, that is not how we're lining up. Uh, that is one of the issues with it. That's They're very off. Um, we actually have Munier on the right, Witzel. And Chan in the middle, Sancho is in, Sancho and Royce, I'll show you. So, back for Kanji, Hummels, Pishek, Munier, Witzel, Chan, De La Feu, Sancho, Royce in behind Erling Haaland. Uh, I haven't seen enough from Jaden Sancho in a 4-2-3-1, but I'm hoping that in a 3-4-2-1 with him in behind, we can actually see a lot more of him. A good ball out wide for Gnabry. Kanji's the closest to him. Hummels deals with it with the cross. Right, De La Feu to Erlen Holland. He gets Jaden Sancho in behind here. And Jaden Sancho is gonna square it. Erling Holland does not miss. And that's his eleventh.
goal of the season and Borussia Dortmund are 1-0 up at the Allianz Arena or whatever their stadium is. It's a big goal. If we can uh, go on to win this one, then I will be very, very happy. Uh, I may have sweated it, but when you're against Bayern Munich, you take what you get. And why am I wearing a kit? That's one of the things that they need to fix on this. Yeah, Erling Haaland's 11th goal of the season. Lewandowski. He's the one we need to keep quiet. Munier's got to be closer to Sane. He's found Robertson. He's just, wow, okay, he's playing it backwards to the Ritz there. Okay, very Norwich style here. Robert Lewandowski tackled by Hummels, there we go. But Witzel gives the ball away, and we are going to get punished for that, no doubt. And Nabry, oh, great save by Roman Berkey. We need to defend much better than that, though. Right, what's Kimmich going to do with the corner? Nabry straight up, Berkey. Emery Chan with a great ball down the line to find Gerard Delefeu. Haven't really seen enough from him. Right, Marco Royce to Erling Haaland. Marco Royce is through here. It's 2 0. And that's, I think, Marco Royce's eighth goal of the season. And we're 2 0 up at the Alliance. We'll say it's the Alliance. It's not actually in the game, but we'll say it's the Alliance. And that's, again, the great play between Royce and Haaland is always going to create goals, it's always going to create chances. First goal was Sancho and Holland. now this one was some very good play uh, to, f to find Marco Royce. He's celebrating before the ball's even gone in. That is amazing and we find ourselves 2-0 up. And to be honest at match, I, w I was worried about this one but uh, it turns out uh, no, no reason to worry. 2-0 and we should go on to win this one from here. Robert Lewandowski is going to find Goretzka. Aaron Gies, good tackle by Hummels. Fitzel is going to find Emery Chan. We're going to hit them on the break once more. Delefeu is in behind here but um, I don't believe he's going to score but he's going to go, uh, uh, pull a save out of Manuel Neuer instead. And we have the throw in in a very attacking position, level with their six yard box, so we're going to hopefully keep the ball in play. That's that was offside anyway. And it's going to be half time now. There we go. Very, very successful first half. Uh, if only they did that in real life. Um, I'm pretty sure it was 2 1 at half time. I don't remember. I know then. I know uh, Bayern Munich ended up winning 4-2. But um, yeah, we have two players as well who are absolutely shattered. So I'm thinking. I don't have anybody to bring on. I could maybe bring on Zagadou for a Kanji if things start getting tough for a Kanji out there. In fact, I might just swap them over because a lot of Bayern Munich's attacks are coming from out wide. So Pichek and. Hummels will do all the wide defending and Akanji can just look after the middle. Great tackle by Pishek. Sancho finds Haaland. Royce! Ooh. Okay, he that may have been an optimistic one. Aaron Gies to Lewandowski. Back to Aaron Gies, but Pishek is there. Deals with it, but Goretzka picks it up. Aaron Geese has just been fouled and Lewandowski's probably going to chip Berkey. No, he's not. He's just going to find the back of the net. That was terrible defending all around by me. There was a foul in there, which Pichek is going to get booked for. Um, I'm going to bring off Akanji and bring on Zagadou now. That was my bad. Um, of course, we've allowed him his goal. However, I'm going to keep the rest of the team as is. Uh, apart from my defence, I'm going to change up a little bit. And we can find Gerard Delefeu. He's going to fire it in towards Alan Park, Holland. Jaden Sancho. He's going to look to get the cross in. 
Alan Holland won't win the header, Manuel Neuer comes in for that. He's going to go long, great header by Hummels. If he can keep doing that, then that would be great. Right, Marco Royce finds Gerard De La Feu. Surely for Sancho, that was terrible effort by Sancho. Right, Kingsley Coman has got all the space in the world. Pichet closes it down, great tackle. I am going to bring off Mounier because, uh, yeah, he is chatted. So let's bring on Torgan Hazard. And with that, I literally only have one change left to make. No, let's not make any. Let's not make any changes just yet. Ah, uh, the ball to. Oh, ah, oh, the ball to Sancho wasn't quite so good, but he nearly managed to make something from it. Uh, that looked offside, Kingsley Coleman. Apparently it wasn't, but he will get tackled there by Bitzel. Somehow managed to get back and keep up with uh, Kingsley Coleman. Not that I'm complaining about that one. This is, this is going to go 2-2 here, I reckon. Oof. No, okay, Roman Berkey's on it. And every time uh, Bayern Munich have the ball, they just look like they're going to score. And with the score 2-1, that doesn't particularly fill me with confidence that I'm going to come away with a win here. Sancho with a great ball out wide for Torgan Hazard. We're just going to hold it in the corner until there's support. The only support here is Witzel, Chan. Oh no, we've just lost the ball right as we don't want to lose it. Robertson, no, surely not, surely not. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no. If I would have just held on to the ball in the corner for another minute, and then I had the win. But we get the 90th minute BS, and of course it's uh, Robert Lewandowski. And there we go. EA can't even let me have this one. <sighs> That's Robert Lewandowski with 15 for the season now. And we should have come away with the win there. So we're at the Signal Iduna Park. For some reason it's actually got the correct, uh, the correct name this time. Back at home in the league. Uh, very disappointed with that last result. But uh, I'm sure we will... We'll be all right. Um, definitely, definitely two points dropped in that last one. But it's another match. Um, we're sticking with the, the three, four, two, one. Uh, Erling Haaland has now got 11 goals for the season, as you can see. Hopefully, he can go and get another one in this one. Uh, there he is. So Berkey's in goal. Uh, Zagadou, Hummels, Akanji. We have Hazard on the right, Delefeu on the left, Chan and Witzel in the middle, Sancho and Royce. Uh, in behind Erling Haaland. So I've worked out pretty much the one at CDM is on the right and yeah it's it's all jumbled up. EA need to sort that one out. Uh, I saw Boyata in there. Who else do I know? I, I've heard of Derida. I know Mateus Cunha. I know F uh, Funes. Oh, I don't think that's the Funes Mori I know. And then Cordoba I know. On the bench I don't think I didn't recognize anybody. Emre Chan just gives the ball away. That was a, supposed to be a pass down to Witzel, but I should say across to Witzel, but he just decided no. Good tackles there by Hummels. Right, Cordova finding Funes Mori. Seems like he's going to be an issue to deal with on this one. And it's tackled by Akanji. Here we go. Jaden Sancho is still on goal here. Will he get his first goal of the season? No, he won't. Right, it's very much end to end so far, but no real chance of being created. Oh, the Akanji's got a touch on that one and then just not followed it up. And we find ourselves 1 0 behind. And this is uh, not the episode I was hoping for. In fairness, I always do better when shooting to the left. So. There's a chance that I might just go and blitz them in the second half. Jaden Sancho, Erling Haaland here. 
Ball in goes for goal. Ball into Sancho, but Pekovic will get the ball clear. And we were still technically on the attack as the referee blew the whistle. <sighs> this is, uh, yeah, frustrating, but um, hopefully we can turn it around in the second half. And the in Marco Royce finding Gerard De La He's going to square it. Easy one for Jaden Sancho. I may have to just stop doing that because it's kind of a bit easy. But there we go. Two minutes in. We've already... Oh, they've cut off the music altogether. Ah. Um, so two minutes in, we've... Two minutes into the second half, we've scored. And apparently we don't get to play that music. But there we go. Easy one. And I'm still wearing a kit. And Jaden Sancho with his first goal in the Bundesliga. There we go. De La Feu to Emre Chan. Alan Holland. Jaden Sancho. 2 1. Jaden Sancho turns it around for us. Uh, yeah, he's not scored any goals all season. Suddenly he gets two in one ma in the space of like 10 minutes. First 10 minutes of the second half. I mean, that's how you do it. That's how you turn a game round. Good pass by Erling Haaland. Great effort from Jaden Sancho. I'll, I'll turn the music back on for the uh, for the next episode. I don't like scoring goals at home and not having the goal music. So I'll turn that back on. And Jaden Sancho, in the space of 10 minutes, has gone from no goals in the Bundesliga to two goals in the Bundesliga. Ball in, and Dorida with a header straight at Roman Berkey. I told you that I'm better when shooting to the uh, to the left. Marco Royce finds Gerard De La Feu. Surely, no, nope, Boyata with a good clearance there, or good header over the bar. Uh, why do my fans always look like we're losing? They always look like they're desperate for us to get a goal. Right, Marco Royce. Max Hummels, no, can't win the header. Alan Holland can find Zagadou. Oh, what a goal that would have been. That was struck really nicely there by Zagadou. I actually thought that that was going top corner. Keeper, mm, I was about to say keeper was beaten, but maybe not. Turns out that this 3-4-2-1 uh, is actually pretty good. Uh, right, we're bringing on Munier for Hazard. That's... The first change, we're bringing on Delaney for Witzel. Good tackle there by Hummels. Erling Haaland goes searching for Jaden Sancho. He's probably not going to be able to get a hat-trick from here. Yes he will! Hat-trick for uh, Jaden Sancho. And it's a 3-1 lead. We are, from here, 100% or like 99% not going to mess it up. Thank God for that. Three points on the board. We will take that. That may see us up into second place. I'm not 100% certain where we stand with regard to points. Uh, I know we were third going into this one, but I'm not sure if three points will be enough to see us climb. So it turns out that the two attacking midfielders, when you get Sancho and Royce in behind, are uh, very good. Surely the referee's got to blow his whistle sometime soon. There we go. Full time at 3-1, much, much better game than the uh, Bayern Munich one. Jaden Sancho with a hat-trick. I think that's the first player to get a hat-trick for me this season. In fairness, I, I was genuinely trying to get him his hat-trick. Um, he hadn't scored a goal all season in the league and then all of a sudden gets three in one game. So, you know what? I ain't complaining. So we're at the Red Bull Arena for this one. It is second versus third. The importance of this one cannot be underestimated. The last match before the big winter break uh, and the opportunity to be the team that's leading the chase for uh, Bayern Munich. If we win, we go second by a point. They win, they go five points clear. The draw keeps us two points behind. Certainly a big match. Uh, we will be doing everything we can to win this one, so we've decided to stick with our 3 4 2 1. Uh, yeah, big, big game. 
uh, hopefully we can do a good job. So they've gone with uh, Galaxi in goal. We've got Angelino, Orban, Mugielli and Henrik. Lima and Adams. Sabitza and Olmo. And Guedes and Huang Hee Chan. Which I think Huang Hee Chan is one of the top scorers in the league. I'm pretty sure they've got they've signed Dini. And they've got Emil Forsberg on the bench too. Not exactly going to be an easy team to defend against uh, by any means. So hopefully our back three can do the job. We've got Berkey in goal. Zagadou Hummels Akanji, same as last match. Guerrero Munier, uh, Delaney and Bitzel, Sancho Royce and Holland. Uh, I'll show you guys how it actually is. So it's Guerrero on the left, Delaney, Witzel, Munier on the right. Royce and Sancho is in behind Ellen Holland. Uh, I'll go with Munier and Guerrero because uh, the, their roles is to defend as well as attack. And I definitely think that they can do the job defensively whilst Royce, Sancho, Holland uh, can do all the attacking work. Emre Chan's on the bench, Drew Bangham's on the bench, Olivier Giroud's on the bench. Zagadou finds Guerrero. Ellen Holland can find Marco Royce. And we're just going to give it straight to Galaxi there. Good tackle there by Delaney. Alan Holland now is through. He's in behind Mukiele. Alan Holland scores 1 0 to Borussia Dortmund. This is where I would normally be. Well, no, I'm away. But if it was at home, I'd be saying play that music. But Alan Holland has his 12th goal of the season. Amazing bit of play there. Gets past Mukiele as if he's not even there. And then just fires it into the bottom bottom right hand corner. Uh, that's what we needed, considering the fact that, as I said, away from home I would do better in the first half. We needed to get off to a very, very strong start, and that we have. And I still do not like the fact that I am wearing a Bush Dortmund shirt when I should be wearing just a shirt and tie or whatever it is that I picked. And there we go, 12th goal of the season for Erling Haaland. And they're in behind now, Danny Olmo. Good tackle by Dan to Zagadou. And we're going to get the ball away. It's a bit to uh, Angelino now. It's going to be an easy one for Akanji to deal with. Tony Guerrero read that Akanji had that one, then he could have got into a good position for it. Rafael Guerrero does do a good job defending there, though. And we now have the chance for a counter attack. Marco Royce. Great ball for Alan Holland. I was looking for uh, Jaden Sancho, but Alan Holland, right foot, 2 0. And yes, this is still an ultimate. It's just the counter attack is too OP, apparently. I just need to defend much better in the second half than I did against Bayern Munich. But what a ball that is from Marco Royce. I was trying to find Jaden Sancho. I thought Jaden Sancho had more space, but the run from Erling Holland was perfect. And. I'm, I need to count how many times Marco Royce has assisted Jaden, uh, Erling Haaland this season because I feel like most of Erling Haaland's goals have co actually come from a Marco Royce assist. And there we go. 13 goals, unlucky for some. And it's 2 0. Not even half time. Right, fits all to Sancho. Can he find Erling Haaland? Yes, he can. Another hat trick. There we go. So we haven't had a hat trick all season. I bump it up to ultimate, and we get two hat tricks. Two hat tricks in one game. Three 0 Easy one for uh, Erling Haaland. There. Good ball in from Jaden Sancho. That's what I've been looking for all season from Jaden Sancho. But with him way out on the right, he's not close enough to be able to create anything. He's having to try to create stuff from out wide and get crosses in. That's not his game. That's his game. And it's 2... I was about to say 2 nil, 3 nil, And it's now 14 for Erling Haaland. And surely I cannot mess this one up in the second half. And it looks like we will be going into the winter break second. And now there... Oh, well, it looked like they were getting Sabitza in behind there. Uh... But it's our side, and we can just kick the ball away. It's going to be half time. Apparently not. There we go. There it is. Half time, 3 0. Um, I've been waiting for a big win. I did not think it would come against uh, Red Bull Leipzig. Yeah, three shots, three goals. Um, for.
Erling Haaland uh, and three shots, three goals all together. They were good chances though. It's not like they were they were ones that you shouldn't be scoring. I'm just glad I managed to get a three nil lead from the first half. Here we go. Marco Royce. Will I actually be able to score when I'm shooting to the right? Marco Royce with a good looking ball in. Orban deals with that one. Oh, Munier's through here. Surely, oh, he's offside. I thought he would be. It seems like the, the decision to play Munier and Guerrero as the two wingers. You're kidding me. That's, that's level, I think. It's a bad angle to be able to tell, but that looked level to me. Um, yeah, the decision to play fullbacks as or more defensive wingers uh, looks like being a good decision because we've pretty much nullified them out wide. Right, Hi Chan to Henricks. Good tackle. Well, I thought it was a good tackle, but yeah, probably was a foul. And they're gonna get the put the ball in, are they? Sabitz is gonna just put the ball into the box. Easy by Munier and Akanji with the block on the rebound. Right, Alan Holland to Marco Royce. Picks out Jaden Sancho perfectly there. That's probably going to be offside again, is it? No, it's not. Munier crossed to Marco Royce. Somehow he has missed. Wang Hee Chan tackled or blocked there. That looked like it could have been offside. The flag's gone up. They've put the ball in the net, but the flag has gone up. Saved by the linesman. That one fully was offside. Let's bring on Bellingham for Sancho. Let's bring on Emery Chan for Fitzel. And let's bring on... Let's bring on Giroud for Holland. All the space for Mounier. Great ball out wide. Munier can go down the line for Jude Bellingham. I keep going to say Sancho, but it's obviously sub Sancho off. Bellingham loses the ball, but it's full time at 3 now. We end the episode here, and we go into the international... International break. There's a long international break. I keep going to say that. We go into the winter break. Second place after that win. Uh, two wins in a row there. If we would have beat... Uh, we would have beat Bayern Munich... We would have been three points clear. A decent episode. We sh obviously could have done better in the Champions League, but we were already through. Um, so, yeah. Next episode, we will be facing uh, Hertha Berlin, who I think we've... Yeah, we've just beat them 3-1, so that's fine. Uh, we got Bayern Munich at home, and then we will have Bayern Munich away in the Cup, and we will have Wolfsburg away in the League... Yeah, so I don't think we're going to get the series done before the before FIFA 21 comes out on PS5. Obviously, I will be doing a series with Norwich on that one uh, when it comes out. So that will be uh, December, December 4th, I think it comes out. Uh, at that point, I will do a career mode with Norwich. Ooh, Jaden Sancho has just gone up to a 91. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, but I will continue this series until it gets done. I'm not going to bother leaving the series unfinished. So I'll get to the 1st of January and then I'll, I'll end the episode there. See if I get any early bids from any players. So, new update. Uh, unfortunately, I've heard again from Real Madrid regarding the lack of playing time for Renier. So he's gone back on loan. He's, he's gone, gone back from his loan. Um, so he won't be with us. I mean, I, I will have Julian Brandt back, so that's not that bad, to be fair. So Julian Brandt will be back in time for the next episode. Uh, I just got to get his sharpness up, and then he will be back into the side. Yeah, we've got no op no offers for our players on day one of the transfer window. And as I said at the beginning of the episode, I am going to be streaming on Thursday. So do join my stream. Uh, I don't know what game I'm going to be playing just yet. I'm thinking maybe Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, I am thinking of doing a Watch Dogs Legion series. I have played the game. I've played Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, it is amazing. I haven't done any videos on it yet because I was waiting for the PS5 to come out so I could do it on that. Uh, yeah, I will be getting it on day one. 
Uh, I've already had the confirmation uh, that it will be arriving on Thursday. So I will set it up, have my dinner, and then start streaming. I think it'll be around 7 my time. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for, for watching the video. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay in getting videos out. Um, I'm usually tired, too tired to, to film. I don't like filming when I'm tired because it, it shows in videos. Uh, and in the me yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for bearing with me as well. Um, it's insane the fact that I'm on, f I think it's 426 subscribers as of recording this. It may change in the next day. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, or if you haven't already. And in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then. <laughs>